Hi there, my name is Harun Hafiji. I'm affectionately known as H, just the one letter. I'm from Saunders. Uh, my name is Gwanele Sidnam I'm Patrick Mavoyzans. Uh, my name is Jason Andrews. I'm from the Harvey's Restaurant. I'm the general manager there. And I currently work for Harvey's Restaurant in Morningside. At uh, Oyster Bowl Hotel. Because I'm working for Fairmont now, it's in Bali. Durban, I work at a bar called Unity. I think World Class is such a long program and it goes over such a long period of time that not just for myself but for my staff and everyone else, um, it really enhanced their knowledge. Um, the training sessions are exceptional. Um, the waiters and the, the barmen are knowledgeable on the premium products that we use now. Um, they upsell things, so for business it's fantastic for us. I find that it's, uh, it's really raised the standard and the level of service uh, required nowadays. I think that with the training we've been learning all these new techniques and ways of presenting the brands that we're actually working with to use dry ice uh, smoke to help uh, create bubbles, to create scented uh, perfumed smokes that really involve another sense as opposed to just drinking the cocktail. And it has transformed me from just being a regular 9 to 5 bartender to a really and, and, and professional mixologist. I think this whole program has actually brought out in me something that I didn't even know that I had. Uh, I feel it's made me much better at presenting drinks and it's made me much better at uh, delivering tasty cocktails. And I think I have quite a good uh, practical spin on cocktails in an actual restaurant environment and I've taken that to the next level to ensure that my guests get what they always want. Um, on a personal level, obviously it's, it's opened my eyes to what's actually out there, what's out there in the world and what we're competing against. Um, and as I kind of push myself as well as my team in order to up our game and get ourselves to the same level as what's competing overseas. Making the Negroni, which is a twist from a Negroni cocktail that stood the test of time. Uh, since the 1919, it's been a fantastic cocktail. Okay, I'm going to be making a French 75, and what I like to call is the Roy Falk 700. That's my twist on the classic French 75. My version of it, the Roy Falk, okay, represents South Africa and the helicopter, and pretty much, yeah, the gun in it, 700 rounds, so it really packs a punch, just like my cocktail. Tank round number 10. Fresh, uh, squeezed grapefruit juice um, and a little bit of bitters and pims inside there makes one hell of a cocktail. Uh, I will be making uh, a Don Julio pink barrel. The reason why I call it pink is because I'm using a lot of ingredients as pink, like the pomegranate and the pink repair. And uh, the reason why I decided to go with the local ingredients is because of what the Don Julio uses to make his uh, tequila. He's using agave, which is very uh, local in, in, in Mexico. That's the reason, that's pretty much why uh, I decided to go local. Uh, today I will be making a cocktail that I like to call the Rob Roy Fire and Ice Experience. It's encompassing a classic cocktail from 1894 called the Rob Roy. It was essentially a mix of a whiskey, vermouth and a little bit of bitters that's stirred over ice and sent to a martini glass. My modern twist to it is to use a bit of a different whiskey, the same vermouth, orange bitters instead, a little bit of cherry juice and I actually flame it using a blazing technique which results in a warm cocktail about 33 degrees Celsius. Uh, I make sure I achieve that using metal ice cubes that work quite well to cool down the substance without actually diluting it. I'm going to be making uh, the old-fashioned classic cocktail today. Uh, I'm going to be using a scotch old-fashioned. 
as opposed to the classic bourbon uh, recipe. I have taken um, inspiration from the fact that today is the 8th of May, and on the 8th of May in 1963 was the premiere of Dr. No in the US, and it was the first James Bond movie ever made. The presentation, I've tried to include the James Bond attributes with the smoke and fire and in my case, it was shooting matches and uh, flamed uh, grapefruit creme brulee, which was signifying the missiles from the Thunderball. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an amazing one for the judges. Thank you.